When my fellow YouTubers need help, they know who to call. Not them, me. And based on Electroboom's setup, he should have done it a long time ago. You have six million subscribers and you make your videos on this laptop? It's oozing goo and the power adapter looks like a fire hazard. Don't unplug it, the battery's dead. Oh, you shut down the computer now. Well, no more, JDs and gentlemen. Electroboom is getting an upgrade courtesy of Origin PC, who is sponsoring this video and will be giving away one of their PCs to one of our lucky viewers. As for you, Dude, we've got everything. We've got a computer, a NAS, a TV, a camera, streaming gear. I knew if I believed in Santa, his elf would show up. <laughs> How are we going to get this all in the room? How about we just don't give you all of it? What? Uh, or maybe we could give you all of it, but you have to earn it. Please, sir. Ah! <laughs> what did you say? Before we get started on the room upstairs, we want to take a look at what we're working with, and this is your network closet? And there is more. You know, not bad. Everything's tucked away, the place looks amazing, but it's actually got a fair amount of tech in it. Nest thermostats, got, uh, wait. No, I have a Wi-Fi for upstairs and a different one for downstairs. Uh, that's not good. Oh, what's wrong with that? We're gonna get all that sorted out with some gear from Ubiquity. You'll just automatically roam between all the different access points. And one name for the entire house. One name for the entire house. Everyone will be named Mehdi. Ah, <laughs> great. And they'll all have eyebrows like this. <laughs> that works. But a question that I have is there's so much stuff here. Are you planning to share any of it with the other Mehdi's who live here? You know, I mean... Uh, you have a family, right? I, I do, but I mean, I keep as much as I can for myself. <laughs> We got you a desktop. What do you need the framework laptop for? Oh, that one? That one I think my daughter can use that one. Although I also dropped mine. I don't know. <laughs> I also have a problem with that. Now you would think that since Linus is an investor in framework, he would know every inner working about the laptop. But Mehdi, I want you to put him to the test. I bought dog shock collars because I didn't think he had enough gear already. It goes from a zero to a hundred. <laughs> Every minute, I like you're adding one, Mehdi. Once he gets the boot, you hit uh, the button. Okay. What? I get shocked no matter what I do? <laughs> yes, sir. I would do anything for my craft. Ow, ow, hey, you're not allowed to press the button yet. Yeah, just, just testing, you know, we have to do a sure. test run, always. I started the timer, you better get on. <laughs> what, you start the timer? Yeah, is it working still? Oh, can you not? Oh, it's still working, yes, You're not nice. allowed to slow me down. Uh, what is this, a notebook? Well, the DIY edition comes with everything disassembled, so you have to put it together yourself. Ah. That way you could choose if you wanted to bring your own RAM or your own SSD. If you build it, if you build it yourself the first time, can you not? Stop throwing stuff around, okay? <laughs> then you will be amply prepared for any repairs or upgrades that you might want to do in the future. How's two? Mm, you, you're supposed to wait till the <laughs> end. Wait till it's the end, one. no, wait till the end. Here, you unbox this. Make yourself useful. Okay. Idle, the idle hands, devil's plaything and all that. Gone with 16 gigs of DDR4 from Crucial. ESD protected or something? Am I uh, not gonna break it? Uh, I wouldn't guarantee that. Yeah. Should I test to see if it is protected? No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> Personally, I like to have the mouse on the right and so I don't like to have my USB-A on the... Oh, no, ow, ow, damn, that really hurts. Stop <laughs> dropping my stuff, okay? Ow. Okay, I'm turning it on, I'm turning it on. Uh-oh. Give me the power adapter, give me the power adapter. <laughs> I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Go ahead, hit him. Oh. Just, just eight? That's what? all? That's all it took. Ah, ow, ow, damn, ow! Ow, hey, 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 hey. ow! <laughs> Well, that's a really intense. Uh, let, let me see how it feels. On the neck. Ow! What the hell? That was terrible. I told you. <laughs> no one should buy this thing. I'm fine with, you know, consenting adults playing around with this, but putting this on a dog, not cool. Your neck, neck is red. red. Yeah, because you hit it like four times. You know what? This side is red too, so it's okay. That was very fun and I'm not upset at all. Incidentally, Elijah, I've got a few tasks for you. They're not gonna be a lot of fun. Okay. Can you figure out the monitor mounts? Yep. You can put together the chair. Yep. And uh, can you figure out the TV wall mount? I don't wanna mount a TV. That'd be great, thanks. Yes, sir. And take care. I always try. Meanwhile, a wild Jake appears. Hi. 
I see we are fixing up the networking. We got a PoE switch. That's, are not, we... a P that's not a PoE switch. Oh no, this is that 10 gig. This is the 10 gig the one. What does he need a 10 gig switch for? For the NAS? So that'll live in his office. Oh, and then the network closets are gonna get a PoE switch and some access points. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what makes the most sense. He has a lot of cables in there right now. Mm -hmm. And I have like the exact amount I need. Probably. What these things it? are sick. Have you seen these before? No, what is this? This is a U6 in-wall enterprise. <gasps> it's a 2.5 gig Wi-Fi 6E access point, but it also has a switch on the oh, bottom. that's so cool. And the switch also has PoE password. We don't need that. But these are like the best thing ever for behind a TV. Not that we would normally recommend putting an access point behind a large metal object sure. necessarily, but if it's kind of nearby or if it's only serving a very small area, it's a super clean way to install it. I have them behind my TVs and they're totally fine. Meanwhile, Mehdi, have you ever built a computer before? Nope, broken computers before. You are going to build a computer. Usually you start with the motherboard. Uh, is that the motherboard? Absolutely. This is gonna be for your NAS. Origin sponsored this video, so they sent over a sick gaming editing PC. You don't have to worry about any of that. You're doing great so far. Do you need some guy? Smells new. Valve just issued a warning about this, and I was like, who would, who needs this warning? About what? Smelling the board? Yes. I smell always smell my board. Smelling the exhaust of their devices. <laughs> That's how you know if your board is broken or not. Right out of the gate, this is a little bit of a hard mode build because this very unusual motherboard from ASRock Rack has an AM4 socket for the CPU, so that's for AMD, but it comes with a backplate and a cooler mounting pattern that would be for Intel. So in order to get a cooler on this thing, Jake had to pry this backplate off, which was glued, thank you very much ASRock Rack, and he knocked off this resistor. What? I want a refund. Sure. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Traditionally, the first thing we install is a CPU. What is this? Oh, that's a fan. That's the cooler, but remember, this doesn't fit on here because... <laughs> Intel mounting. Okay. <laughs> I need to supervise what's going on here. These pins... Don't touch it. Where's the gold? There's a gold triangle. Oh, there. This is... Yes! And that goes... With the triangle. But you gotta lift up the arm first. Oh, lift up the arm first. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Arm goes down. Computer belt. This is a really special SSD that uses what's called Optane, which is a really high endurance kind of storage. It's kind of in between storage and RAM. Uh, and Make does, you go faster. That's good. <laughs> you are not putting in a screw with your hand. No? You have what is, in my humble opinion, the world's finest ratcheting magnetic screwdriver. There you go. Wait, 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 wait. This is a really cool case from John's Bow. It's the N3, it's super small. I think it looks flipping awesome. And it can fit up to eight hard drives in the default configurations. You're doing awesome. Well, I'm an electrical engineer. I can do anything. Oh crap. We haven't actually put the cooler on yet. Wait, you guys are using our cable management stuff, right? Yep, that's the goal. Okay, good. Cause we have new cable management products that are this guy right here onto this header right there. Okay. Okay, so. first thermal compound though. Okay, hold on, whoa, 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 okay, that's lots. Can't believe you've never built a computer before. This is so fun. Well, I'm having fun. Still not in. Yeah. How tight do I make it? I just keep going yeah, until just keep going something until it... breaks. Wait, hold on. It looks like this hold down is bent. I just eyeballed it. You did great. Don't worry about it, it's okay. Well, this is bent, but that was probably from you. I'm sorry. I mean, I don't think it was there before. <laughs> I mean, it's your computer. You can do whatever you want. Hit it. I'll care. fix it. That's okay. There you go. Like new. Normally, you would just do this up the whole way, but because of the weird janky mounting mechanism on this motherboard, we're not going to do that. And if we over tighten this, we're going to flex the bottom of the socket down, right. potentially deforming or breaking those traces. I have personally killed motherboards like this that have sort of weird mounting mechanisms, not realizing that it was being over tightened because that's not typically how it works. This is a pretty cool board. It'll take up to two 110 millimeter M.2s, so you can get some higher capacity or high performance ones that are a little longer than the standard 80 mil. And while it doesn't have an onboard PCIe switch that allows you to just use it in any slot you want, this one requires a motherboard that supports bifurcation. They do have one like that as well. So appreciate you, StarTech. Thanks for sending this over. Now that that's done, 
it seems like this is a perfect opportunity to show you the system that Origin PC sent over. It's really light. Check it out. Oh my God! What yeah. do you have? Okay, okay no, what did okay, they put know, in there? Yeah, no, it's fine. Here, here, we'll, we'll just we'll just rest it here. <laughs> On this side, we're looking at a 14900K, so that's a 24 core processor. We've got 32 gigs of DDR5 memory, an RTX 4090. So this is as powerful as it gets. Whether you're video editing or do you play games at all? Not really. Well, I, I play Tetris, like I said before. Corsair kitted this thing out with a whole bunch of their IQ Link RGB. No, no, this is just the beginning. Just, 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 just wait for it. Wait for it. Things but are gonna get. It has its own display. Yeah, things are gonna get crazy in here. What happens if I open this tab here? I uh, don't, please. I can drink from it. No, it will drain the system. <laughs> All this stuff links up together with dramatically simplified cabling compared to previous RGB solutions. And that was a big thing that Corsair and Origin PC wanted us to talk about because it is simpler than ever to wire up a system like this. In the past, you would have had to be an electrical engineer to set up some of the RGB setups that I've seen in the past. But this is relatively straightforward. Like the fans, for example, just clip in together and then you just plug in the one end and all the RGB signaling and power just runs through that click-in connector. Can you play Tetris on that thing? Someone's probably done it, but I don't <laughs> think it's supported by default. <laughs> as weird as it is to put a unibrow on the CPU cooler, Origin PC is giving you a chance to do the exact same thing. That's right, you can win the PC we gave Electroboom, including that Core i9-14900K and an RTX 4090. All you need to do is follow the link on your screen or head to the first link in the description for your chance to win. Then you'll be able to put whatever you want on the CPU cooler screen. Thanks again, Origin PC. Now back to the video. I think we need to answer a lot of questions about where things go before we go yeah. any further. I had a plan before you came, <laughs> but now there is no room for anything. Can we mount it on the ceiling or something? God, what are you even building? What is that? It looks like a decapitated drill. Which one? That, that's a time bomb. I made it for one of my videos. I guess it's an improvement from your projects where it just blows up without a timer. Yeah, at least you can anticipate. On the voltage. Maybe we need to move them some things out <laughs> before we bring anything in. Probably How about that? that's a good idea, yes. Hey Linus, if you think it's too much stuff, do you want to challenge him to a game so he doesn't have to keep it all? Two callers. You guys will choose randomly which one you're going to have. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hit the button. That's the game. That's not a game. Yes, it is. And yeah, we are going to put it on the lower setting, so. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Wait, no, shoot. Oh, crap. No, I I just lost the game. Alrighty, we're starting with 10. What? 10? No, no, no. Ah, ow, ow. Oh, thank God. All right, 10 would be cool. one round. Give me the callers back. <laughs> oh, we are Which one do you guys want? You guys uh, can argue. I'm letting him pick this time. It doesn't time. matter. Here you go. All right, hold it's it for on, right? Okay. It's on. Okay, but we, no! <laughs> but we each hold each other's. Oh, do we? Sure, yeah, that way you won't hold back. Uh, are you sure you want to do 10? Yeah, we'll do 10. Three, two. No, oh, dang it, it's me again, ow! <laughs> Thank God, it wasn't me. Do you, want to do, do you want to do three or five? I mean, I'm okay, losing, yeah. so I guess so. <laughs> I can still win this. And then I don't have to give them all the stuff, and then you don't have to set up all the stuff. I'm just trying to say that maybe there's an incentive for you. No. Three. Ow! Ow! My neck muscles! I can still win this. Which one do you guys want? Oh, you're just gonna take the one in that hand? I mean... Do you guys want to switch? Statistically, it's like better to switch or something. Right? That's only if that's the three-door paragraph. Ah, yes, yeah. right. That's what they want you to believe. Uh. Okay, all right. Oh my God, please don't. Go. Ah, dang it, I lose. I, I give up, I yield, I yield. Take as much stuff as you want. Yeah. <laughs> this thing is so cool, but it has no way to mount it. I mean, maybe I, maybe it does. I didn't read the manual, but um, yeah. Oh, LTT cable management things. And then we'll just put these little plates in the thing. And when you want to take this off, bloop. If you have something bigger that it'll fit on, this ended up being a little on the short side. So this is more for power bricks. This is the one you want to use. So the cable tie goes on here. There's a little lip right there mm, grabs the end then uh i don't know you can mount anything you want realistically so let's banana say for scale. Uh, banana you just wrap it around and then bippity boppity magnetic banana how's it going colin you're enjoying your assembly time <laughs> did you want to put some shelves there maybe or maybe you can put shelves under this and then stuff go in front of is them. this always your decision making process this is uh 
Wow, this takes a long time. Yeah, it does, it does. <laughs> We have the first of your monitors though. Xenion, these are OLED 27 inches and they do 240 frames a second for the gaming you said you don't do, but <laughs> it's totally fine. These are actually amazing monitors and we have two of them for you. So we're gonna get these going. Here is your shelf. We're gonna do one here, then about halfway to the top, we're gonna do one more and then we're gonna do another one there. Oh, that's great. And you're gonna have so much more storage. I have my beautiful tiny stock binder. Oh, this is one of those magnetic ones. Yes. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Hey, we found a set. We found a set, yeah. That's perfect. I would put this here. Ooh. Is it not too close to the door? It's a little on the tight side. And one of them's gonna be all drywall anchors all the time, I think. Hey, brilliant. Okay, we're gonna level go. go. We're gonna level up our installation game. <laughs> Wait, he got the cool job. I feel like a sucker. <laughs> Wow, that really, uh, that really goes. Hey? That really sucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then it's, see, you got the little so threaded bad. hole back there and you screw into that. They'll hold like 200 pounds or something stupid like that. Screws. Um, yeah, they, uh, they're big boys. It doesn't go through that hole. <gasps> oh no, the <laughs> Ikea hole. We can expand those holes. Oh, you're just gonna hold it like that. I mean, I could get the uh, vacuum. Meh. <laughs> All right. Perfecto. Because the theme of the day is not finishing anything before we move on to the next thing. Ugh. Now seems like a good time to talk about this musical instrument. Maybe Where do you want the TV this mounted in here? Break it. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. <laughs> there used to be a crap TV oh. mounted on the wall. Here. Oh wow, and a crap mount I, for I it. I already have the, yeah, that was it. You know, for someone who was lecturing me about stud spacing and, you know, handyman stuff, I, um... Oh, well, one of them is in the stud. The other one, well, the spacing wasn't good enough. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you don't want it at the right height? Uh, what's the right height? You know how nobody likes to sit in the front row of the theater? Yes. Okay, so the right height is so that you don't do that. <laughs> I noticed your other TV is above a fireplace and no, my I mind had just about to. exploded. What did you do to my room, for God's sake? Why did you put the garbage up I there? I made space. <laughs> Good, at least the shelves are holding up. Yeah, and, <laughs> and none of the toggler's fell into the wall. Oh. <laughs> that's a that's a real plus. Okay, one toggler fell into the wall. Did it? One be. second I don't look at what you're doing and oh my God. You'll still need a display port cable just because this is just an uplink for the hub for data. Right. So this handles all of your actual display, display data. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that awesome? Look how strong they are. We somehow convinced Medi's lovely wife to have an access point in her office. So at the very least, what's your favorite color? Green. Green? Okay. Let's try this. That looks not like green. So this goes with orange. Orange? Okay. Okay. Yeah, cool. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> with the frame TV, the Samsung uses this one connect cable. And basically you just put this one cable into the back of the TV. It runs to this box here. And with this box here, this is where you can put all your inputs of HDMI, Ethernet. Uh, that's where the One Connect cable connects. Power, pretty much everything comes through this this box here. Just don't trip, Colin. I don't want to don't want to work safe hazard. Uh, totally ate it. Anything wrong? Yeah. I made a big boo boo. So we're gonna try again. We're gonna use the frames mount. I didn't think it came with one, but it does, and I messed up. So. What the hell, dude? You know, you told me that this was no problem, all of your power bars plugged into power bars, but you know what I see? What do you see? I see a big problem, because I'm looking at this side. Well, that problem is me, not the series oh, power connection. Oh. <laughs> that, that, you probably have seen it in one of my videos. But... Wait, these two were already plugged into another power strip. To be clear, Mehdi is an electrical engineer. He knows what he's doing. He knows how to add up the total current of all the downstream devices on all of his different octopuses that are connected to things and make sure that they don't exceed the maximum amperage that you know each one of these sockets can support. Except that even though he does know what he's doing, he seems to make a lot of mistakes. What? That's what I do. What the hell? What is this? Uh, I, I, I needed the ground connection. I use that for when I walk on my treadmill because I noticed 
I pick up charge when I walk on the treadmill and I have my headphones in which is connected to the laptop which is connected to the ground so when I'm charged it zaps me right in the ear so I had to ground myself these are better for running cables along the direction of the magnets. Am I the first person to receive this Actually, awesome yes. things? You are the first person outside of Linus Media Group to try these. Okay. I went to spin this drill and like it just popped through the drywall and now it's like, well, it might be me, but why do all TV companies suck at ma making mounts? Hey, it's working. Okay. If that's the TV. Hey, good job. IGMP proxy, let's go. <laughs> Basically, your TV is IP TV or like TV over IP, like the internet. In a normal internet connection, it's unicast. Unicast is kind of like a sniper where you're sending the packet directly to the target. You know where it's going. Well, that would be very inefficient if you had a thousand targets, right? So instead they use multicast, which is kind of like a shotgun. It shoots all over the place. It doesn't even know where it's going really. Your ISP provided router does know to look for that, and so does the Unify ones if you turn on IGMP proxy, which is what we did, and it works, which is awesome because now we don't have to have any of the ISP crap. We can just have our full Ubiquiti network. Up here, we're using a Ubiquiti Switch Lite 16, which is way more ports than he needs. As you can see, there's four plugged in. I left a couple extra cables over here if he needs them, but it's a lot cleaner than it was before. So you'll notice the TV is still on the floor. Did you really put extra holes in someone's wall again? I put like five extra holes in someone's wall. Realistically, if you ever watched our channel, you would have known better than to let him put holes in the wall. I would have known better yeah, than to let you guys in my your fault. Yeah, the, hey, it's not our fault. Yeah. Bye guys for the win! Let's go! <laughs> In all seriousness though, we tried to use that flush mount that Medi had. Mm -hmm. It wasn't compatible with this TV after I had mounted the wall plate. So then we tried the included frame mount, which is these two brackets here. Yeah, they look great. They look great. The problem is, is the drywall anchors they give you, they just free spin. Oh yeah, okay. As long as the TV, uh, the TV is only pulling down, right? The gravity yes. is going this way. If it was going sideways, I would be worried. <laughs> we also chose the mount that makes it as close to the wall as yeah. possible. So ideally you won't have any of that right. tipping force. Yeah, so uh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, all we have to do is we have to line these bolts yeah, and up with the circles there. Oh, I think I got it. Oh, see, now you can go sideways. Oh yeah, you can adjust this. it that way. Do, 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 do. Well, actually let's test it. Oh my gosh, oh. Yeah, it's fine, don't worry about it. See, I told you. You got some of this clutter out of here a little bit and like. It's not so bad. Dang, that's clean. It really makes the space feel bigger. This is awesome. Sweet. Cool, well we actually have to plug it in. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll run it to that port we showed earlier. If I can turn back time. Who is that? Cher? Oh, okay. You don't know Cher? Pfft, oh my God. I didn't know who the <laughs> Beatles were until six months ago. Oh my God. How old are you, 12? I'm 46. Wow, you're a boomer. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my channel is. I'm an electro, <laughs> electro boomer. <laughs> what do I do? I don't know. Oh. Sounds like Nintendo music. <laughs> it's like I just booted up my Wii for the first time in 2007. <laughs> it really does actually kind of look like art. Like it doesn't really lose the brightness on certain angles. Like it's pretty good. What if I turn off the light? Oh yeah. So we're not gonna use a mic on an arm. You'll just put on your lav like you normally do. Right. Compared to my old transmitter from Rode, Perfect. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> Everything fits in this form factor. Yeah, they've gotten a little smaller. <laughs> yeah. Wait, we also got him a camera. Where's the camera at? What is... Oh my EOS R8. God. Oh my god. Oh, that's a full-size sensor, oh, yeah. isn't it? Oh, Don't yeah. spit on it. I wouldn't spit on it. That camera actually also upgrades you to 4K. Let's go. Maybe now with the new computer, I can edit in 4K too. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, 100%. It'll, this, this thing is gonna yeah. chew through 4K, no problem. What's really cool about the Wireless Pro is that it has the pass-through to your camera, so you can monitor your audio and you can just edit directly with that. But this pack acts as both a transmitter and a local recorder. That's so if nice, something yeah. goes terribly wrong, at least you have the backup audio if you if you the thing. recording here. Yeah. Very first zap in 4K. Hey! Ah! Oh my god! He zapped me! Did you see that? <laughs> I almost 
Drop the camera, man. What do you mean almost dropped it? You dropped it. Well, my reflexes are very fast, so I caught it in midair. And then somehow we ended up bringing you a Galaxy S23 phone. How does that, um, how, how did we get scammed into this exactly? Have you seen this phone? I don't know. You ask and you shall receive. <laughs> Although my old phone still works pretty well. It's like a, what is it, S9? Oh, Note wow. 9, baby. Oh, Let's yeah. go ninth gen. This? Cheers. I was told apparently you use your phone for videos though. Like occasionally just... I do, but TV this one does 1080. Whoa! Oh. All right, so I see oh. you... Okay, just take it. Actually, what I want to talk about first is this chair. I was there. I saw it yeah. had strong yeah. wife approval factor. She said she actually liked it. Uh, is this going to fit here? This is, this is, well, as long as the door closes. Oh. Yeah, if you push hard enough, yeah. I'll go for it. The handles turn. <laughs> I just turned your monitors to 240 hertz. So just go ahead, grab your mouse, and just grab this window and drag it around. Have you ever tried this before? Oh my God. <laughs> this is moving so fast. It's like, my God. Yeah, even if you don't game, I actually this... find a high refresh rate display just makes everything feel like... I may just use the computer. More responsive. Move windows around with it. <laughs> oh, hey, and the thermal oh, camera works. Look at that. Super cool. There's two cameras, right? There's the camera that gets the visible light image, and then there's the camera that gets the infrared image, and then it just kind of superimposes them. But those cameras aren't exactly in the same place. So you can see as I move around, like my <laughs> eyes kind of... You wobble around. You know, they kind of wobble around because the cameras have different frame rates, right? The thermal camera refreshes at a much lower rate. But the what? game, that well, looks good, right? Yeah, I like it. the speed is super or smooth. Origin PC, wicked fast, great cooling, you can barely hear this thing. Oh my God, that's quick. And this is off of the NAS. <laughs> off of the, do you know how easy it makes video editing for me? <laughs> this is so good, thank you. Uh, yeah, I guess now's a good time to thank Origin PC for making this possible. <laughs> They've got a giveaway. You guys can check that out down below. Um, another opportunity for us to talk about IQ Link, all the cool RGB software. So you can download that and you can set it up to have all kinds of different colors or maybe your kids can play with it. This is about as top of the line as it gets. Elijah is a sweet, precious boy and we must protect him. Therefore, we didn't set up your saw. <laughs> we also really weren't sure where this was gonna go. Oh, this bad boy goes on the table here. Yeah, and then? And then Wait, I... what, on this table? Yeah, see, I, I, I made some planters there. Oh. If I had this, it would make life easier. <laughs> and maybe the craftsmanship would be yeah, a I... little more exciting. You know, I was just doing it by hand, so it's all sideways. You know what, it's really good. This looks flipping awesome. Do you guys remember the before in here? Yeah, it we looks got awesome. Switch Lite 8, Switch Enterprise 8. This is one of the in-wall six enterprises, cloud key, and then the little gateway light. He's like the ubiquity fairy. He just Wee. flits into your house and ubiquities everything, and then he leaves and there's 10 gig and fast Wi-Fi everywhere. Well, I was getting 300, so it's pretty good, 500. Hmm. What, what do you do? That's hilarious. He thought he had like 300 down, 100 up. Because his Wi-Fi sucked. If you guys enjoyed this video, maybe check out the last time we collabed to debunk wireless grounding straps. Yeah, yeah, that was, that, that was, yeah. Pretty a stupid. Lot of stupid straps. <laughs> or the first time we collabed to determine whether static electricity actually kills computer components. Yeah, that and, was an enjoyable video. And he's got a follow-up video on his channel as well. So there's lots of <laughs> Linus Tech Tips plus Electro Boom to go check out if you guys enjoyed this one. Really subscribe to this guy.